to me it's Aisha and this is going to be my April book haul. Now these are all books that I picked up from the library. Um, I picked up quite a few series and this is mostly a new adult <laughs> um, haul but that's the contemporary mood I'm in right now so I thought I'd go ahead and indulge but before I would pay an exorbitant amount of money I'd just make sure I actually like the titles that I am reading. Um, the first two are non series and the first one is Unleashing Mr. Darcy by Terry Wilson. This one I picked up because I want to participate in Book Rat Misty's um, Austin in August where she does a lot of books featuring Jane Austen um, and she does like modern adaptations so I thought this would be really cool to read and check out for that but you know get it in ahead of time. The next one I picked up is one of my normal go-to authors, and this one is um, You Give Good Love by J.J. Murray, which is an interracial romance written by a white author who is in an interracial romance. Um, he is married to his wife, um, who is a black woman, and he writes really good interracial romances. Um, I normally purchase his books, but I haven't read him in a while, so I thought, why not go ahead and see if I still love his writing before I pick it up. And then the next ones are all series. So I picked up the first book in the Innsboro series by Nora Roberts because last month, or in March, I picked up books two and three at the library book sale. So I went ahead and picked this up from the library to read because they didn't have it in the book sale. And this one's called The Next Always. Then I picked up books one and two by Lisa Renee Jones, and I was talking to her on Twitter and on... Um, YouTube. Um, this is called the Inside Out series and this is If I Were You and Being Me. And apparently the series is being turned into a Showtime show or is it CW? Some show is picking this up and um, some channel is picking this up. And I thought I would go ahead and get these in. These have been on my list, my TBR list for a while and I saw that my library had them in so I snagged them. Then I picked up, the next two books I picked up were on my Friday reads for last week and I never really got a chance to them, get into them because just everything that was going on in my life. And that was um, My Favorite Mistake and The Sweetest Escape by Chalissa Cameron. And I'm actually that far in My, fav my Favorite Mistake. It's actually going pretty good right now. Um, so, you know, I'm, I've got high hopes for it. The next few that I picked up were actually by one author, and that is an entire series, and that is Faking It, Losing It, and Finding It, all by Cora Carmack um, in the, is it Faking It series? Finding It series? I don't know. Whatever series this is called. She's going to be at BEA giving away the last book in the series, so I thought why not go ahead and read the series to make sure I'll be able to talk to her <laughs> when I'm in line and understand, you know, her characters and stuff. So pick these up first just to make sure I'll enjoy them. And if not, then, you know, no skin off my nose. And then the last, um, well, not the last. And then the next book I picked up, I requested to review this on NetGalley and they never gave it to me because so many people requested it. And this is A Million Dirty Secrets by C.L. Parker. And um, I went ahead and picked it up to make sure I enjoyed it. I'm actually reading it, and I'm also that far in. I started it last night, um, and it's actually pretty good so far. So I pro ugh, whew, words, they would be nice. Um, <laughs> I'll probably pick this up um, to have on my shelf if the book ends the way I like it too, and then I'll be picking up the next one in the series. My library doesn't have it, so I had to, you know, read this first, and if I do love it, then I'll buy the next one. And then this one is The Secret of Ella and Micah. I received this at BA 2013, I believe, um, and this is by Jessica Sorensen. Everyone seems to love her, so I'm going to be, I put this on my to-be-read pile in April, and I never got around to it, um, so I picked it up because, yeah, it's been on my shelf for a while, and I want to read it. And following that, I went ahead and picked up The Forever of Ella and Michael, which is a chunker of a book. 
um, also by Jessica Sorensen, and I really, really wanted to read it and see what happened, but I'm guessing by the wedding ring on the cover. Something with a wedding? <laughs> I also picked up her Coincidence of Kaylee and Caden, and the Redemption of Kaylee and Caden, and I believe there's a third one in this, um, and that should be interesting to read. And then the very last book I picked up from the library was Foreplay by Sophie Jordan. Everyone is talking about this, um, The Ivy Chronicles. It's really big in the UK, and um, I really wanted to read it when it was on NetGalley, but they were only taking UK bloggers, and um, yeah, now I just want to read it. If it's as good as everyone says, then I'll continue it. Um, I read the first couple of pages and it was cute, but uh, we'll see. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's my entire list of books that I got from the library. I did have three others that I read and reviewed already and already sent them back. Um, and I'll leave links down to, to those down below. Um, what did you guys get in the month of April? Why not share down in the comment section and let me know. Thanks for watching. Goodbye!